Well, welcome back and happy celebration, Idi Mubaraka to the Muslim fraternity. And those every household in Uganda has a Muslim in it. So largely we are celebrating the whole of this country. This Idi is very significant. It lies at the heart of millions of uh, yeah, Muslims across the globe. And here at the Political Command Center, we always make it deliberate to celebrate everything that is important to the community. And this is one of them. Well, uh, we have been speaking about um, uh, the tenants of celebrating this day and the sacrificing but also most importantly you must sacrifice something that is very precious to you if you decide to sacrifice an animal it must be that animal that you love so much that animal that is very healthy not the a, a feeble animal the ailing one no that is not what they call a sacrifice because think about it uh ibrahim was bound to sacrifice his own son the only son that he got then God in a liberation swapped and said, sacrifice the animal instead. So if you've taken this, and we also learned that there are three categories. One of the meat you take to your family, another to your neighborhood, then the third um, uh, uh, piece, that piece or portion should be um, sent out to the people that are in need. What is Salam Charity doing? I'm telling you, they have read the script they have read the script and uh, the verse that uh, talks about sacrifices. And I want to connect with uh, today our food soldier, Haji Karim, who is somewhere in Busia. I asked him earlier, what is he doing in Busia? And now the question is, Haji Karim, what have you brought to the community of Busia? Haji Karim? Thank you, Dalton. We are here at Busia. As you would be seeing me, if uh, Sibu is very clear with his machine, you would be seeing the bazungu surrounding me, really try to see how we can do uh, the massive work in the eastern region. It's not only in Busia, but in the eastern region. Now, the people you see besides me, the people you see besides me here, this is the team our partners from Europe, especially from Turkey, as we will be hearing briefly from them, the partners of Salam Charity, to make sure that people in the eastern region, basing here at Busia, are the part of the communities to celebrate. As you see here, you will be seeing the animals. I am very certain that Dalton, you are going to see animals gathered together you have never seen in your life. Everybody you see around putting on jackets, those are not the people to distribute the meat. These are the people ready to slaughter. The slaughtering has already started, and uh, we expect to slaughter thousands and thousands of animals as we wait the third deputy prime minister, uh, right Honorable Rukia Isanga, uh, who is joining us shortly from uh, Mayuge where she had her prayers. As I told you, Dalton, that uh, this pro program you see here is all over the country. Specifically, we are here in Busia where we decided to camp with our partners to make sure that these three days, these three takes three days. After today's Eid, there are those three days that comes after Oruzungu, Ruba Ruzibu, Naimu Ruganda, Bachi Ita, Kwani Kenyama, or Kwani Kenyama. You cannot slaughter all of these cattle, animals, and be taken away in a single day. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam decided to add other three days, of course, an order from his Creator for people to benefit. The meat we are going to slaughter in Busia is not specifically for the people you saw. We had Eid together. It is uh, the meat for everyone. It is for all humanity. Ibrahim or Abraham wasn't for only Muslims, Christians, or Hindus. These prophets come for humanity, for everyone. So the act we are doing today, slaughtering, remembering the act of Abraham and Ismail, is what we are doing today. And uh, Dalton, the history you have been giving people, I'm sure they are aware, if it is these animals which Allah exchanged from the 
Abraham slaughtering his son Ismail. Today, Dalton, you would be looking into your children, and the most fat one would be slaughtered today. But instead, we are going to slaughter animals for the good uh, of humanity. As we are here, you will see uh, some of our partners, some of our partners around here, and uh, uh, who we are going to work together, not only in Busia, but the whole country. The animals you see here, where Sipo Hassan doesn't want to even to turn the camera back to me and show you the team, and uh, they are representative to say hello to you and to affirm the work we are going to do here. Now here I have uh, Bakir, Dr. Bakir Hassan. Hassan, I think now we are turning back. The animals are enough. Even Dalton is getting threatened. He may run out of the studios. Uh, he has never seen such animals. And uh, here on the right, I have uh, uh, our, one of our partner and uh, his organization. And he's going to talk to other partner organization briefly because some are in Turkish and he refused to teach me the Turkish language. But since this Sultan has arrived in the country, he's called Sultan. Sultan means a king. He's the, so since he's in the country, he's the one to teach me the Turkish, the Turkish language. Now he's going to introduce this team briefly and why we are here as we wait for the third deputy prime minister. He's called Dr. Baker. Dr. Baker, uh, we, you are live on one of the uh, strongest and the biggest media in the next media, NBS, Salam, and uh, Sanyuka. Those are the biggest media we are connected to. Gosh. Now they want to get briefly, Gosh. very Gosh. brief, why we are here. Why have you traveled all the way from Turkey to come to Uganda and briefly introduce the team we are with? Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. First of all, I wish you all a happy Eid al Adha. And uh, we are together with our team. They will briefly give a speech in their own language, my language, Turkish. I just want to tell you what Qurban is shortly. Qurban is kafara, redemption. So it is the traditionally, during the year, we involved in too many scenes. And Wallahu al-Azim, Muzungu, they are making, they are committing much more sins, guna, more than you. Then that is why we have to slaughter more animals than you are doing. So you mean the Wazungus do more than blacks? <laughs> yes, so we need to get, pay more redemption. <laughs> Now, uh, inshallah, we're going to be together, and uh, I appreciate my brother, Abdul Karim Kalisa, because uh, he is uh, doing an excellent job cooperating with us to make sure uh, our colleagues in Turkey and their donations are reaching the right place. I appreciate Webali New New Nianziza. And uh, <laughs> uh, let me introduce uh, my partner, Mr. Murad, we call him Sultan Murad. Sultan is king. He is the chairman of Uhud and their sister uh, charitable organizations. He will speak in Turkish and I will try to translate shortly. Would you mind it? <laughs> Dalton, he's going to give a few words and you get a chance of at least listening a few words in Turkish and uh, you can say as he translates. Yes, Turkish. Evet. Esselamu Aleyküm. Öncelikle bayramınız mübarek olsun. First of all, I wish you a very happy Eid al-Adha, Eid Mubarak. Bugün burada bu programımızı yapmaya vesile olan Abdülkerim Beyefendi ve Bekir Bey'e de çok teşekkür ediyorum. İlgi ve alakalarınızdan dolayı. I would like to extend my sincere appreciation to our brother uh, Mr. Abdul Karim Kalisa and myself Bekir uh, for their contribution that we can accomplish this uh, function properly. Bir Kurban Bayramında ülkemizden uzak olmak bizi hüzünlendiriyor ancak burada da bulunmakta e, gururlandırıyoruz. İyi ki varsınız. 
Uh, yes, of course, we are away from our family and it, uh, it feels a, a little bit upsetting, but now here in Uganda we feel at home and uh, thanks God you are with us, thanks God uh, you allow us, you are uh, hosting us. Bu arada basın görevlisi kardeşlerime de e, emeklerinden dolayı beyefendi dahil olmak üzere çok teşekkür ediyorum. Hava çok sıcak. E, sizleri ve hayvanları da daha fazla bekletmeden e, inşallah çok kısa tutuyorum sözü. Allah Teala hepinizden razı olsun. Yes, I would like to give special appreciation to the media members, the hard workers and they are doing excellent job at the with the head of um, our brother, Mr. Abu Karim Kalisa. As you see, the weather is uh, too hot and it is better uh, sh cut the talk and begin slaughtering. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, Dalton, as we come back to studio, this is the team representing the biggest huge team you are going to see when the third deputy prime minister arrives in this place where we expect to slaughter thousands and thousands of animals, not only here, but even scattered all over the country. Back to you, Dalton. Well, thank you very much, our food soldier, our food soldier, Haj Karim, our food soldier, Haj Karim, who is in Busia. But I want to, uh, for the benefit, Haj Karim, for the benefit of our viewers that are not very comfortable with English language, Njagalan kuze komulimi o Luganda. Chiba tute, mubumpi mpi Haj Karim, nsaba otubulide, Echichi uh, uh, chiri under Salam Charity echikutute mu Eastern Uganda uh, Eda bichi abantu bomu Eastern Uganda Abasidamu chiba suvida Salam Charity Neba partners ba yo Bieba, bieba, bieba gendo batu sako Haji Karim Mkweya aziza Dalton Kwe murundi guango gusose Okuuli rango yogero Uganda Mbade simanyi nito urumanyi Atena ango ruzungu rumenya Oru na kwa ye dama rusu gabadega ampe demu. Na ebo ntute kusaidi jensi ngo kutege roburunji. Ne mikuano jange. Mbaka kasa antitulibusia. Neba patana ziba fe okuvamu Europe. Na yenga ense kule mbe demu yetake. Nga baganda ba febano. Ne bi tongo lebi awe. Bia muraba. Nga bi kule mbe duwa mechi tongo le chebatu uma mazima. Nga bo uchiraba si chamuru take. Chigambo chafe. Na eba achikopa. Neba chituwa leri. Na wenga weba gama titua kupa koku bigambo biyawe. Afande, afande chigambo charu take. Weba singo chikozesa. Echitule sewa nebusia. Ne district zo na ezitulira anye mo eastern. Kwe kuraba anti tube ila neba ganda ba febo na. Communities za fezo na. Okubanti tusalebi sorobi no. Tuyambagane tulabenti buli omu. Asoboro kubanga musanyu fukuru na kuraid. Una kuraid. Una kungaru no. Uro ngoje kwa idi ya ilije tuwa maru kusara eno idi ya kusara visoro. Salamu charite, nga tuliwa mune bapata na zibafe kwe ukujeno. Tulabenti tusemfura kebi gere tuvemu kampara. Tueso nyue family zizafe, tuje, tubele na aba antubano. Ensonga za humanities, e, zikule mbe duamu mukama wafe ye njini, wakuntiko CEO, a Dr. Kin. Ukuraba nti field je tuli, tuino kutambula, enaku zino satu, tubele na imikuano jafe. Nga tusale ebi soro ebi fana bwe bitu. Mikuano jafe, ensoro ze zora ba, ze ensoro ze basingo kurunde no mo eastern region. Banga ambi enti bobo sobode okulia kukasora kukora ba. Toda mukulia bili ebi soro ebi nene yetero kuraba. Nge ente ze tise amine moto kazitule ete rao mkampara. Nga ate bazisibie bubi. Na ye ente ze no bwezi obweze nkana. Si mpamfu nyo, ate si nyimpi, ate nga ziso. Mikuano jafe, tusaba umuli muguno. Baganda ba feba nobe tukua atagana na bo. Nesalamu chari tomulimu gwekora. Tuku biliza bulimu na Uganda. Echintu chino chetujamu Dalton. Kwe kuraba nti tufuna mo mutima of sharing. Mufune mo mutima ogoku banti oyagaliza muno. Siku sara busazi chisoro. Kabele kabonero nti gwe aliku NBS. Aliku salamu TV mkasera kano. Ofuno mkisogu soboro okubanti kono obo sazeko wako muno. Bobo funye kakiro kwa mcheri wa kwa mwono. Uruwarero ye chechi intu chetu yiga mwono na kungaru no. Okusobora okuraba nti tuige okuyamba gana. Techiko maru na kuruwarero. Bobo lese nkota yetoke. Ruwarero even after month. Please neighbor kwa takechi wago ochimuwe. 
gwe mulimo ogusingira dalobo nene mu nako rwalero to learn how to share kubanga betuta kwatire wa mu ojja kulaba nti class ende ya wagure nyo ebere kororo ebere bugorobi tejja kufuna akasera kasobola kukirira ba jeno ze jembera side zeri e bandwe neri nyaboliogera liri lanyo kubanti buyizo koroza nti njogera mandwa kakati omuntu ali ekororo nange mbere eri e bandwe twawo olunako rwale tuyigiriza tukwatagana chechire saba zungu bano kuva mu Europe bajje ko wano wansi mu Africa bakwatagane nafe kubanga bo comparing a first world no jana fe no mu third world dalton tana ba kunsomeso batu agenza mu second world nze nchama nyikalike na soma ka third world baba bazizo kulaba nti bakwatagana nafe bave mu bulamu bwabo businga ku bo bulunji bajje babere kubange takabali lyo ora ba wano sebo abamo mu baganda bange bendi nabo bali raba for the first time chechitegeza sebo nga nkoma wo jori tuyige okuyambagana ngaba na Uganda betuna abanga tuyambaganye chigenda kubanga chiyamba nensi ya fe okubera stable nga twagaliza na kwagalana ojja kusanga omuntu omu ku kitundu nga ino obugaga ku account ye bune babanga akute ko kitono nga tatuse even akota abasomera okusomesa constituency number abana ne basoma atene account zenga tezikende deko techi techikuyamba te okuba nti osobola okubanga oyina sente 1 million dollars terese myaka 3 myaka 5 nga waliwa bana Uganda batamba denga to ekigambe ekyo kinzo butakuyamba na ye bo bango ina choto deko nga munafe je bayite ndoboro nga feje tuita zaka noto rakeke ekitone nnyo kiba kiyinji waza sente zo no kuzikuma no kuleta emitima emirungi mu bantu bana abantu abakubo obulauli no bwango ali moto ko labo olyaka nya kudde kaduse olyaza yasize ndabirwamo okutte ku matu atute byatute chivva mu butayamba gana singa tu sharinga ikware teri muntu ajja kuimira ku street buno bwano buveno jetuze jetuburumbye obuveno ne bujja mu Kampala te bujja kujja wetunabanga tukoze ensonga chetuyiga mu runaku rwafe olwalero wa well. Toyanzanyo, it's a pleasure. It's, uh, I mean, it's elating to hear from you, Haj Karim, uh, giving us first-hand information regarding the charity, regarding the partnerships that we leverage on uh, under a Salam charity. You're very significant. And also urging the rest of the world, the rest of us, that let's not be like people that were in the pre-Islamic Arabia, if you remember very well the history of uh, pre-Islam. For us who have interested and invested in uh, in reading about some of the things will get that is shocking the world is getting better each other day and uh, differently if it's getting better what is your contribution in making this world a better place so compassion give people what um uh, uh, help the needy but also make those sacrifices is very important for us to live in a very uh, very positive uh, environment that we all desire to be treat your neighbor as you love to be treated now i want to cross immediately and go to chibuli where the prince prince nachibinge normally as a culture as a tradition hosts muslim after prayers to what they call a chijuro a luncheon let's go there and uh, just yes treat our ears to information and maybe a touch of uh, traditional music. Thank <laughs> you. 
NBS Happening Now. Join the Salam Community Baraza every last Sunday of the month from June to December, where learning meets enlightenment. Expand your knowledge, strengthen your faith, and enhance your overall well-being. Our dedicated team provides valuable insights on Islam, taxation, banking, investment, and motivation. Join us from various districts across Uganda. Gatherings are broadcasted live on Salam TV and on our digital platforms for easy accessibility. Experience a vibrant and inclusive environment for learning and growth. Come and be part of the Salam Community Baraza on a path toward personal and spiritual growth. It's not anyone's responsibility. It is your responsibility. It is my responsibility. It is time for us to take responsibility. And, and there are three ways you can do it. Uh, it's, a, it's a very simple practice. You need to reduce. That's the first one. I think it's, it's very practical. Reduce using polythene bags or polythene material. That's one. If you're using six of them, probably reduce. Use one. I mean, if you use many, then you're polluting the environment. The second one is you can reuse some of these uh, materials and, and it's another practical element that that you see we can we can adopt as, as Ugandans but also most importantly the recycling recycling is very critical so if you are out there in your family this is a message you need to take to your family to your kids they can do this it's not very difficult they can reduce they can reuse and they can recycle and once we do that I can tell you we are going to save this environment. This message is brought to you by National Environment Management Authority, Kampala Capital City Authority, Vivo Energy, Airco, Uganda Breweries Limited, Stumbig Bank, and NBS TV. Taso Butonde, our environment, our responsibility. Vibes on Vibes on Endless Vibes 24 7. You are bumping to Pulse Radio. You did? Hell yeah! Better steady, be better. Woo! Bro, I could just send a simio. I'm so pinny yo. No wofa, she's so bold. Tasovola? Posing a pinny oka jinkua. Ah, name one of our bachi. Better today. Don't share your pen with anyone, not even your relatives. Better today. Be better. In partnership with Uganda Communications Commission, Bank of Uganda, Equity Bank, MTN Uganda, United Media, Stumbic Bank, MTN Momo, and Uganda Bankers Association. Feel like a little wiki bender, no aji on tare? Then open your iPhone mobile app, go to options section, select radio, find the station that best suits your current mood, click on it and enjoy live without missing a beat. Take a piece of home with you anywhere and anytime. Afro Mobile, the future is now. Who says we need data? Let's do this. Do it your way. And this is Pulse Radio. When it is KB o'clock, you need more from your voice bundles. That's why MTN is offering you more minutes across all networks that don't expire. Buy the new 19-minute Freedom Bundle at 5K or the 200-minute Bundle at 10K and jazz with no limit. Katiteri ate ate. No excuses. Make the call now. Dial star one zero zero star two one hash or use the My MTN app and enjoy your freedom bundle today. MTN. Together we are unstoppable. Terms and conditions apply. MTN is regulated by the Uganda Communications Commission. NBS tonight. 
brought to you by Nivana ajira mchupe za mililita bitano kusiringi bitano Nezali pemune chitundu kusiringi kumi bitano Nivana package drinking water Akolebwa Crown Beverages Limited Aba wa Pepsi That's life, that's Nivana House hunting is hands down the most exciting stage of becoming a property owner but it can also be one of the most nerve-wracking. You must actually have a plan before you think about developing and actually developing in any area. When you use people who are not registered, be assured that you will not get the benefit of the value for your money. Whichever the need it is for you as a customer, all right. we do is plug in. If it's important to the buyers, then it's important to us as developers. So real estate has seen some exciting new innovations over the years. Everybody wants to have a high quality, good home to live in, mm -hmm. regardless of where they are. Special. Special. Star Times has introduced fresh new bouquets on both antenna and dish decoders. Copper bouquet on antenna decoder hey, Copa, Copa. and special on dish. Watch your movies every day. Catch the news up all the way. Catch the football. Catch the music. Catch the tunes for the kids every day. Nova customers, dial star 185 hash or star 165 hash to upgrade to the new bouquet and enjoy more premium channels at the most affordable subscription. New bouquet, beautifully packaged. Tile Center Limited Uganda has been your go-to since 1990 for all building material related goods. But did you know we offer more than just tiles? Vinco from Tile Center can help you build your dream home, office, or other buildings with our services. From a range of high-spec windows, doors, and glass work. To customized shower cubicles, we provide solutions to all your needs. Locally manufactured tempered and laminated glass, as well as prefabricated hollow core wall and floor slabs, can help reduce construction time. From our range of high-quality tiles, sanitary wear, and accessories for your home to our range of commercial stainless steel options. We are there to find solutions to all your building problems. Ajuko! Yo! Hawa chiku wa! Yatirai! Check the shopping man, what's your secret? Wagana wang, haven't you heard of the Parish Development Modo PDM? Yes, I did, but I thought it was just a talk. Ah, no, it is real! I and a few friends together formed a circle, accessed money from the PDM, invested in a portrait project, and now things are moving! Ajuko! I thought I was one of your friends. You are! But you left me behind. I didn't leave you in poverty! What you do, just visit your LC2 chairperson and your parish chief and start the process of economic transformation. Just like that. The parish development model is an initiative from the government of Uganda through the Ministry of Local Government designed to transform all lives of Ugandans for the better. PDM, my parish, my development, my life. My name is Harish. The name of our company is MBGO Technologies and BPO. Um, what we do is we do business process outsourcing. That's the labor intense part of the business from uh, various businesses outsourced to us. So through business process outsourcing, we help in development of business, plus improving our workforce, and also we create a socio-economic uh, reform in the country. We have around 350 staff working for various projects. Companies can leverage with our, in our expertise the technology what we use and the, project man the various project management tools what they use. So this in turn help them to focus mainly on their core business. So uh, because we are already expert in um, uh, data mining and providing a, a feasible data to our uh, clients because end of the day data is the new oil. So since we are expert in uh, uh, that segment, the 
business can focus on to their core business while outsourcing their non-core activity to BPO companies like us. So the main thing uh, if someone is getting to this journey is to set a clear goal, understand the client, what is the client expectation, set a, a proper rule how we are going to achieve these uh, expectations. Then having an open line of communication, communicate to the client what is the kind of uh, uh, result you have achieved. So this will help um, uh, companies to have a trust in you. On top of it, I would also advise to invest heavily in the um, infrastructure because you need the right um, uh, solution as well as a, a tool to understand the metrics as well as the, to measure the key performance index. So we found an immense potential in the BPO sector, especially in the um, African uh, continent. Um, BPO is a $30 billion business across the world. So if you're fortunate enough to tap into the 5% of uh, this sector, we will be able to generate jobs for at least 5,000 to 10,000 Ugandans. And we, uh, we are one of the youth country in Africa. So definitely BPO sector is going to be a big game changer for us. NBS happening now. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Alilah, Alhamdu. Yes, at the Political Command Center, just in time to continue bring you what is happening in the Muslim world. What are the celebrations? Now I want to go to um, Chibuli, where there is, we have Shamim Nabakoza to tell us what is taking place and um, like we said earlier those that are just joining us who are there after prayers uh, prince Nachibinga hosts hosts are uh, the muslim community to a luncheon has it started who are the people that are present who are gracing it let's speak to shamim nabakoza to at least give us um an update on uh, what's happening what time is the lunch after the prayers this is the main course shamim um, are you there? We want to have you to tell us what is happening. Idi Adoha Dalton is all about a feast. That's the bigger part of it. And as of now, where I'm currently standing by is the residence of Prince Kasim Nachibinge, where several people are being treated to a feast. If my camera person can take you around, it already started. Because as soon as you are done praying, the expectation is you are either giving out uh, to the people or you are having lunch with them or you are having something to share with them. And I mean, several dignitaries are already having lunch here where we are. And several others are still arriving. Those that we prayed with uh, at the mosque are here, but also several others are still arriving. If I am to mention for you, there are several legislators here, there are several dignitaries here that I, I could not easily mention, of, but we have the Lord Mayor here, we have the former legislator for Kawempe North here, who is Honorable Latif Sebagala. You have several individuals, I can say, here attending to this luncheon or to this feast that is expected of individuals to at least have. But the bigger part of it, the expectation is that every other person will eventually have something to eat. Several are being served, the journalists, the several individuals who are here. But, I mean, it is just about the festival that it is, Idi Adoha, which speaks to certainly that. And joining me this afternoon, I want to know from you what it means today for you, especially now that we are in the critical time of the festival, having the lunch. What would you describe Idi, Idi Adoha to a person who is watching NBS television? Okay, uh, uh, I salute everybody. Uh, I salute everybody with the best salutation chosen by Allah. In the name of Allah, the omnipotent, the compassionate, the king of majesty and supremacy, to reward you even you, Shamim, until the day of recording. Uh, today, we know is a day that we remember when God had made an agreement with Ibrahim that when I give you a child, you will be able to slaughter him. Ibrahim was bound to slaughter his own son, Ismail. However, Allah seeing that he was committed, he ordered him to slaughter an animal. 
and today is also a day that we all know that the prophet in Arafah made the last sermon. In the last sermon, he said, lend me your ears. I may not, do, I may not be around next year. Please, when you hold money on trust, return that money. Treat women with justice and make sure you look after them. You have taken them as your partners and make sure you do not degrade them or revenge against them. Whenever there are challenges, make sure you dialogue. There is no superiority between a black, an African, an Arab, or any other person. The prophet went on and said, make sure whenever you have challenges, you refer to Hadith and Sunnah. So that was this month of Dhul Hijjah when the prophet made his last sermon. Indeed, when you read and make a prognosis into the last sermon, it inculcates the entire life of a Muslim to be justice, to treat women with a lot of care because we take them on trust and on agreement. It is on that position that Muslims, whenever you are married, you have to consider and know that when you marry a woman, is not your asset, but you take her on an agreement of Allah. Today, we have a lot of brothers in Arafah. They slept there yesterday and today in order to fulfill to be Hajj and Hajjat. So this is also the fifth pillar of Islam. That means that when you go to Hijjah, you have finished the five pillars of Islam. However, it is not compulsory to everybody, only those who can afford. You talk about a message that encourages especially men to treat either their wives or their sisters or daughters with kindness. How should the population of today reflect on that a message? And how should they relate so much with that message? Of which one? Kindness? I think uh, the irony of today, the prophet said that when one is marrying, you should marry people of your own status. We have a problem now, people marry people not their status. Shamim, you are a graduate, I'm a certificate holder. We are not compatible. We should marry people of your own status. That is one. Two, we should have dialogue whenever we have disputes. And the prophet said, whenever you have problems, make sure you mediate. But the irony of today, people marry because of money, not love, not kindness. That's why divorce is rampant. That's why yesterday and today they have asked me the rampant DNA saga. A lot of men are suffering from DNA. And I've made some prognosis among women why this one is occurring. They have said, a lot of men today, we don't have time for you, Shamim. And because we don't, time, we don't have time for you, you end up joining or getting your sexual uh, uh, uh, satisfaction to another neighbor, which is a haram. But this is very common. So the best way now, we men, we should create time for our women, and the women should create time for us. The other position, let us marry within our status so that we can manage one another. I'm a degree holder, you're a degree holder. There are compatibilities very important. The other position, Shamim don't marry me because of a professor. Marry a man whom you know that when there are challenges, he has parents, he has people, he respects that when you, you report, he will be able to be told to change. A lot nowadays, some of the men of today, they don't have anybody you can speak to, neither the girls. Whenever a conundrum rises, then we are in a dilemma. That's a, that, I mean, that's a bigger concern that you raise. But on a day like today, the bigger part of it, expectation, is a feast. What's the significance of having a feast on Idi Adoha? The feast? Uh, the feast of Idi Adoha is today. As I told you, I remember uh, the sacrifice. And today, even a Muslim is ordered or requested to slaughter an animal because on the Dove Yam al Qiyam, on the Dove Reconning Judgment Day, we are going to use the animals as a means of transport. So it is, it is ordered that we should also prepare 
on the day of, of, of accountability, the animals will be the vehicle for transportation. That is one. That's why you slaughter. Secondly, remember Ibrahim. Thirdly, remember the last sermon of the prophet. Uh, the other issue, it is also a month of Dhuri Hijjah, where many become Hajj and Hajjad, and many of them now are in Arafah. Many thanks for sharing with us. We hope the viewers of Salam TV and viewers of NBS Television are able to reflect on the different words said, especially words of kindness and words of, uh, I mean, reflection on the religion. Status, how you have to move with life, how you have to, I mean, live differently, kindness within yourselves. Also, the question of marriage, marrying from within one your circles, marrying from the class or the people that you would be able to respect or individuals that you'll be able to share with. But, I mean, different messages keep coming through and these are words, not just words of wisdom, but words that come from the Holy Quran. What and how should you reflect on these particular words for even those that are performing hijjah now in Mecca? It is just the same call, the call of how kind you have to be to yourself, the call of how you have to be very closer to your God and any other person that or anybody that is closer or has God closer to their hearts cannot be expected to behave a certain way. And it's within the manner that those that we expect to be sharing, especially the feast, those that are individually here, the expectation is that these are among the individuals that fulfill fulfill the, the, the, the five pillars of Islam as a religion, but also as, as, as it's within us as a culture, as, as Muslims, that you have to live by the five pillars of this, but also to live within the acceptable manners of society, acceptable behaviors of society. For people like you, Dalton Kawesa, who would want to be part of this religion by, by the name Kamada that you are given by Wampamba, there's a lot of things that you have to learn on a day like today, especially being generous. It's quite a bigger thing and there are many that have come to believe that the bigger reason why Muslims have kept within a particular status is because they one they are very generous people but also they are very key to society and a lot of things that they keep uh, sharing about. Now joining me this afternoon is Dr. Muhammad Chibundu who is a spokesperson of Chibuli but also I mean by the virtue of the capacity that he holds as Dr. Chibud, who is known as a scholar, there's a lot of things for us to share with him this afternoon. This, this morning, actually, it's not yet afternoon. Doctor, a very good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, we would want to have a particular picture painted to society with the different questions from within the people. What should a day like today reveal to the population? What should it comfort them with? Idi Aduha. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Aidu Mubarak, Aidu Mubarak, Aidu Mubarak. This Eid is very eminent because we look at the picture of Prophet Ibrahim. Prophet Ibrahim was tested by Almighty Allah, but his testing was purposive because everyone had to learn from him. First, what we learn from him is the art of patience because patience wins by the end of the day. He did not have a child, prayed to God. For so many years he didn't. At 86, that's when God answered the prayer. You can imagine that, that patience. Number two, when he got the son, God then again tested him. He said, you have to slaughter this son, sacrifice him. He got his dream. And he told his son that my son, any time I put my head down, I see myself slaughtering you, offering you for sacrifice. But he did ask his son, and it's my son, what do you have to say? So number two, we learn what we call training a child, what we call training a child between a father and a child. They were friends. People should be friends with their children. It's not a question that because you have the powers, you are a father, you are a mother, you just grab a child. And you know, a prophet's dream is a revelation. So he had to fulfill. He could have grabbed it, but he said, no, let me ask the son. So you see what we get out of that, that his father and the son are supposed to be friends. So the boy said, daddy, do as God has instructed you. Reason is, I don't want you to lose. So both of us have got to benefit. So that's one other issue, family, in issues of training the children, being friends because you are the parents. Three, obedience. That for the child, you yourself, whoever is there, you are supposed to obey the father. 
your parents because they've given you the friendship and whatever they bring to you, they will explain and you agree. And then number four, we human beings are supposed to know that we relate with our God. And relating with our God is what Ibrahim did. He got a vision. He did not deny or shying away from what God had instructed him, but he had to fulfill that. So you can see, we learn the relationship between God and us. That's how Ibrahim related. And uh, we can also learn number five, out of that, that we relate with other creatures and animals, because it's not about human beings, how to slaughter an animal. Because when Ibrahim was slaughtering or sacrificing the son, he did not go to cut with a knife that was not sharp. But because Almighty Allah had gotten a demonstration to us, he disabled the sharpness. It couldn't cut him until he sent him uh, a ship, a ship from down that was to tell us that no human being should be sacrificed, but animals. And when the animal came down, the sacrifice was that he cut it, slaughtered it with a sharp knife in order not to inflict pain on it. So that's also another issue that we can learn. And finally, sharing is very important. Doctor. Give out, give, and when you slaughter the food, the meat is not only for you. There are so many poor people who cannot afford and they need your help. So for those people who can afford, distribute what you have. Generosity is very important. You have got to care for the rest of them. Doctor, you talk about generosity, you talk about patience, and you talk about belief from within somebody as, as, as, as key things, especially from what you reveal about, about, about Ibrahim, Prophet. How should the population today be able to learn from that. How is it possible today that several individuals do not have patience? Uh, the population wants you to learn. You are encountered with so many difficulties, I understand. And every one of us has something that they call is very difficult. But you are not the first. You got Ibrahim, he did it. If you feel you are going under a situation with no poverty, whether with poverty, you go to no pray to your God. Because what you learn is that the prayer to God works. Ibrahim prayed to his God. He said, Rabbi Hiblim Nasualihim. God, give me the right years. Give me the right son. He gave him. So what is that problem that can keep you forever known to answer the, to answer the prayer that you're supposed to be obedient to your God? So you do that. I know some of you. The economy is too tough, but things are there. And then you go to expect and have the hope that things will also be better because what we are looking at today is not what we are going to see today. Ibrahim walked for 86 years, no sun. And then he came at 86, he got the, year, the sun. And when the sun became of age, he was told to sacrifice. Look at that. So what is that that you have which is too heavy for you as a community? Love one another. Be security cautious because even Ibrahim had Satan around, confusing him not to slaughter the son. He said, well, your son is going, your, your father is going to slaughter. He said, no. The boy said, no. So be security conscious. There are so many others who may take you around to think that, you know, they are good people, yet they are wrong characters. These are issues we learn out of that. And also what we call uh, self-satisfaction is important in the sense that God is the sole provider. But you have to relate with those who have gotten better chances. Relate, get to them, do not shy away from them. Ask them, befriend them. Through those people, you'll be able to overcome. Because God says in the Holy Quran, it is him who made you the vicegerent of this world. And he raised you in, in ranks over the others, but the reason is to test you. So for you who does not have and you fail to reach out for those who have the brain, who have the money, who have it, who have got the art of working it out, why don't you go to them? Go to them. You'll find that they will expect, uh, a help. They will expect to you to, uh, to go to them. And those who have also give, give out to the rest and guide them. So this is how we can survive. We need one another. Synergies, this is what we can get from Ibrahim. It is an all-round picture that Ibrahim gave to the community. One would, one would ask what the prayers to this nation would be like from you 
if there are things that you would want at least the country to be very pertinent about in addressing or things that you want, the population, youth that is more than 78%, the general issues that affect the people in their way of life, which are those issues that you would want the population to reflect on and pray about on a day like today? First, you should pray for your children. First, it's your responsibility to bring up a child because charity begins at home. If you know your child is there like Ibrahim did, he used to go with him to trade and to do all whatever he used to do. But if you keep your child and you fail to train them, how are we going to solve this? Because let's avoid sense unique, or that is one form of direction where we think that is where a child or a person can have benefits of life. No, we've got to try out different opportunities, encourage the children because we know what we call is unemployment is a problem. But we've got to try out different opportunities. I just want to call upon the youth not to shy away from what they call cheap, cheap stuff, cheap job. No, that cheap job, it's you to make it better, earn out of it. Uma, and I salute you all those who have managed to perform the ritual of sacrifice and those who have made it to the respective mosques for prayers. I salute you all. And on the gist of the, the day,
have, they have their own shortcomings and what not. But at least you would find some degree of equity, fairness, relative respect for humanity. Somehow, there are those values right now. Go to Mecca, go to Medina right now. Everybody is treated equally. So why shouldn't we also inherit or emulate some of those values? We entrench them within our body politic here so that we be fair to one another. The principles of equity, the principles of fairness, the principle of justice, even the elementary principle of just, just being fair to one another. For example, you have so many people now on remand where the government is saying we are still looking for evidence. They have been on remand for decades, for so many years, not decades, for so many years, contrary to the dictates of the, the Constitution. And the DPP is saying we are still investigating. They keep on adjourning cases and adjourning cases. But just last week she treated us to something weird. With, all, with, with due respect, the, it, those who admitted having shared the iron sheets for the vulnerable people in Karamoja, they admitted they, they, they, they took share, tears, including number two in the country, the vice president, the speaker, the minister for finance, a couple of them, top equilion of government, they considered that they took these iron sheets. Now the DPP said, we have no evidence. At least they should have been taken to court. I should, at least they should have appeared before. And they also get to, through those troubles of seeking for bail. Do you know what it means? Many people are struggling to get bail on trumped up charges, which is really very, very unfair. These are the principles of fairness and equity we are talking about. At least those ones, they can always be inculcated within our society. Thank you very much, Lord Mayor, for sharing with us. We Most welcome. May you celebrate well with your families. Thank you very much for sharing with us. But those are the different individuals who are sharing with us, who are currently here having a feast at Prince Kasim Nachwinge's home after Idi Abdul her prayers that we just had about two hours ago by 9 a.m. We were praying, but several so, I mean, several activities since then until now have been ongoing and we we'll bring you up to speed with how the different individuals are currently sharing with us and what particular events are currently happening. In a few minutes from now, we shall be hearing from Prince Kasim Nachimim, who will be delivering his speech right here to us as several individuals, as different characters keep sharing with us. And we'll take you to listen in on what the events are happening here and what exactly is transpiring. Dalton and the viewers, we expect that we can be able to listen in on how events are unfolding here. Well, thank you very much, uh, Shamim, for um, that update uh, from uh, Prince Nachiminge's home, uh, where he's going to be serving um, a luncheon, Eid luncheon to uh, members of the Muslim community especially those, um, the, the leaders in the different spheres of life, religion and uh, political leaders. I want to go to um, Ali Kasuja to give us an update where he is and uh, as uh, we wrap up uh, this uh, broadcast. Yes, Ali Kasuja, if you are th there, I, I, I want to, um, I, I will be speaking to uh, Ali Kasuja shortly. And um, definitely, one of the things that we should uh, pay attention to is um, what are the what are the norms of Lombo Lombo for for for what is happening today as we celebrate. We need to find out uh, what the ideals of the day are, and uh, when we do, definitely uh, we'll be walking in tow with the preaching according to the Quran. Let's listen in to what is happening elsewhere. Tola butozi salam. When kukiriza bantu bakula beko. Sebo jaja, supreme mufti, sebo se kamukuru. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Zikiriza jaji ya nsabiye ya sakada akadachika kamuko kana ya nzizanyo Kusababa ntuba uma basavire e guanga kusonga zo wenka nya Jaji ya tuwaudina haba ntube tuwaliva dena buwa noruwarero Na inga tipa sobote kubera o Haba mba tufude kumaso mungere obu kambwe 
abalala basibe tebasobodde kubera wano jjaja waliwo omuntu omwanu me yali badde wano ye makala umaru makala bali ku kibuli mu manyi bulungi omwana oyo abadde akola mu office ewange era ja akola bamukwata ne bamujweteka ke bisange bya terrorism nti awesa ebomu umaru omwana omugo we gonjebwa omwana we mirembe omukakam abamumanyi mu mumanyi era yali badde ku mangu betala wano ne bamutwala eruzira bamulese wiki wedde ne batugamba bachano nya bujulizi ne bamuzayo akomawo mwako mwezo okujja na ye kintu majjaja katono maliriza bumaliriza nti mu wiki yemu dpp na gamba nti abanene mu government abajje misango ejama bati ngate bakiriza nti bakagabana nga no bujulizi we buli twalira byeko nabo nga bagenda ko mukaguri ndabe namba 2 mugwanga namba 3 mugwanga minister of ah mi nga bayimiride ko mukaguri nabo basabe ko kuberu bamanye che bayitam no yeno ganti ate umaru ne banne bachanonya bujulizi chiru majjaja ne sekuruma yona nti bachanonya bujulizi twasabe wachiri baba twale mu high court baba je bayino bauliza obauze sa kuba court ya wansi te bayina bujulizi uli na gamba te banalaba bujulizi ata bali ko bujulizi bote bali mu court musabire nsi yafe buli ayiwo musayo lwalero guli halali tusabo musayi gwa haramu gukome assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh yidi mbarak alaikum salam ajirati fo bude wabuli de bojatola salamu yokka Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh fadillahi ta'ala we bale kunyangu yizam kwesta konyeko ansonywe na ye abagenyi abagenyi botu inabanji mwenna tubalabye mbiti babu ya mwena emunzikirize nkomao no kwanjula poze kusaidi abachala hajat muzana na bazana jebali baba ubire ko bubizika jambo Sanjubala wabazana. Ziki. Nsabe mkama wafadje ayogere koje tuli. Nchimanyi mumuli indiride. Elabu wanaba janja kusaba musome takbiru. Paka wanatu kawano. Allahu akbaru. La ilaha illa Allahu. Allahu akbaru. Allahu akbaru. Walila ilhamdu. Sabu mbuga tukuli indiride. Ojotu buzeko. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. لا اله الا الله الله اكبر الله اكبر الله Sebo, Your Eminence, Supreme Mufti wa Uganda, Bakadde bangi wa Mashiach, Mwenawali wa Noam Kuru wa Mashiach, Lord Mayor wa Ichibuga Kampala, Haba waka baba antu wa Baby Chiba Mwenawa, Hajine wa Hajat, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tuwebaza Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Atusizaku nakulunolwa idi azuha 
Nga tusaba mkama katonda Akirize Yona vyona Bitu isemu Okupa sembo kuvera wano Ida venga tuwe mpeda nengi Kwe vitu sobo dokola Tuwe gata kupa nafe Avali katimo hija Avali Mkolo joku maliriza Ya hija Nga tusaba katonda Kirize Kwe Nafe akirize Eduaza fe Allahumma Amin Fendanga wetumanyi idi adhoha Idi ya kusakuro Idi ya kwe nenya Ya kwe kusanyuka Na kuda ilimu kama katonda Tusa wabantu wa Allah Menaji muli nga tuwa hiza hizo kutuka kuna kuna kuna kuna kuna Natuwa sabaha mubenga mutambulira muwecho Echo mugaso Obafi nati tuno kula kuna kuruno Natuwa sabaha Elimi kwa anu Bamiliru ana abafi Neo kusingira dara wana fabo Abatalina Echigende wa mchino Tifinati sovulo kubanga kuna kuna kuna Tulina ketuza elio mumwa Tulina matuta ambila mbufu wabajajia fe Hava soko kuwela Kunsikuno Chigambo chino Tujia kusaba ala bawa deyo akantu Tuvenga tugaba nane wanafu wabatalina Chino tucho gede mirundi minji Tutuweje muovu kodo Tugaba ne Nevyo ala vya sobo deyo kutua Mtu wa mkodo Omlavida nyo Mumizigiti Tinevale taka boksi, ainzo kukano kubako kasuramu Nyinga tomu tiyomi ya gama nchi wangu mzikiti nga tebaku yonja Ni hati na wanga na hita ina contribution nijia akoze Kukula wangu mzikiti yoko kutelela Edori wa waka boksi wa alimera uwa fazari asomo uvuladi Ni wabanga ya usomye dana yenga chona chona Alwa na butaba akoshika ateku Ngozi zayo Kali tuwa saba, tisiru aleroro ka, nemu nsimu no, tugabane nevyo Allah fena, ya sobode, okubanga atuwa, neyo kusingira dala, okuwa babana fe, abatalina, kebaza, elio. Njaga lanyo, okubeba za mwena, abasobode okubela uo, kuna kura sande, ngatuja guza, ngatuja ukira, Ebimu kajaji ya fejewako la Okusimu Mwena wa sodo kubira o Ngabemba mwrimu chetuwa hize Mwumikolo jino Tifena tukole Lila Ala jatusa ajia tuwe imidira Ebikole dua Bija gasa Aba na jia Oluva nyumanga tufude o Bano senga wali tabako zebe wako la Ngaba vikola lila Emikisa minje chifana nchobu sila mbwanga lino Chandi wade chifana na bulala Tuwe wa zawa nafe mwena Mwe wale kutuku watila ko mwe wale kujia Ala mwena mwena mwena mwena sasule Bulonji kuhirele Olale wetutu kido wano Tualo mkisa mbuno Kukusa sila wana Uganda Abalina abantu wabu wabu wafirwa Mo wasiri kala abafi de Somalia, abafi ri de mo bulumba ganiye kasese, na wavana fya abafi ri dua kavantu ba abo mbitundo mbitari mo ebe bwanga, kamba ngi miti yana wade obubi, obuta bwa, e masaka, vidi ambi abe kanga vidi mo face zendala, ne mbitundo mbitari mo, wavana fya mo na tuwa sa asira, na tuwa bakatonda, abasiwe bimu, ne mo mo yogwe bumo. Tujia kusawa Bana fwa wali mbuna njivu toko manevi ya fwe Babi nga bawa wukumi fwe na fwe na wali mbuanga lino Uganda chenkanyi Sobole okuwa Ne mirembe Atela wali omwa sobole okuje ya galida mo Chimudiwa na wawanga talina mirembe na wetoja jifuna Kino uchida vila kuwa kungu wa government na haba nena haba mwa wali wano Umulaba nga wabata ambula haitane mundu nyingi nyo Ubunkeka ubuwa kuwa chimudiwa na utatele de Senga fwe natu batu terede, te wali mtu chifula chibuga chafwe kubanga ichiri murutalo, chiburi mwenye ugolaba, 
aline mundu satu nya tano no gamba ne kati zino zonna singa zikumi bana Uganda fena twandi badenga tulina emirembe tubasaba kintu echo mu kitunulemu mubenga abantu bonna be yagalira mu nsi yabwe Uganda nyeze satu ene tane gise engudo mu Kampala ne bitundu ebimu zibadde mu mbera mbinyo njagalo kusimo mulimu ogukoledwa okugeza ako kuba ebiraka wano ne wali tusobole okubanga tutambulanga tetulina nnyo buzibo mu ngudo za feze Kampala ekenyamiza anti kola nsa ateba mukoba muttaka simanyi banga ki ekye kikoledwa bwekina asobola kuwangala naye nga tusimaka akatona akakoledwa oboli yao mu budget mulimu sente za teredwa mu okubanga dalale ngudo zino zikolebwa dalala fenane tubanga tutambulira ko matuze simisa olwalero nnako lwa kusala bisoloni nnako eziddako twagala bako ya nyo twaba tuza ku nako lwa sande kibidambo ya fetvija ko babinji twebaza mu nnaba sobodde okujja no kusala idi atusaba katonda mu nnabu lyomu abenga amuwa mirembe fenna nakuru idi lunaku lwa kusanyu kasi lwa kola ne okujja ko bana bana fe ababira mu service industry nga bana maule bano bokabe bali ne kizo okubanga bo basiba basigala bakola ku nnaku zine nnaku za idi tubatama ngo musobola okuddayo mu bene families za mwe nabo mmaka mulemate gamanti to abasuisi za wano umuntu natu nabwano kusawa 5 natu ke uwe 12 naga yalidewa aludewa mbuga kyondoza na chosi kitufu tubata mangu musobwe okubera nabantu bo mu nyumba yamwe bokabo kabana abo musavisi industry bebalina enkizo okusigalanga bakola ne mikwano jange enfira bulago bambega abo bote baba ku mulimu balina okusigalanga bakola ne simanyi lwachi ba malo budde kunze ko banga byenjogera mu lwatu byenjogera mu chama atene bwono jawa no notuka baka mabo ku bana tv kwezili biba byatu seyo dakale tubaniriza na yenga mwe balo muri mugo mukola nayo obuzibu bonna ate kujweteka ate na kulinda muislamu nga asala ali kusujudu no yagala uliye byalope wa mukama katonda ibi tv kwa tako yahe muleke ayogere byonna obo bebaza na mirimu je mukola ne banafe tobebaza nyo muri mugo mukola senga mugongera mukulaba kibyo bukesi mu bantu abatemulwa ababibwa abali mwebyo nga mubakwata te banna ba kuba kola ebyo ebye ebive mwebale nyo wakulu am wa antum bi khairi assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh aid mubara no java na fava mauli de english bait assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh as we celebrate idi adha i take this opportunity to salute all brain brethren and congratulate them upon on this day of idi adha we all know that idi adha is a day of sacrifice is a day of feasting not fasting is a day when we share the bounties given to us by Allah between our family friends but more so the less privileged we ask all Ugandans and all brethren please try to share what Allah has given you with all those that are in need it is the practice which we commend that all of you take heart and share the bounties given to us by the almighty Allah I wish to commend all of you who turned up on Sunday when you had the function to celebrate the contributions and the services of four fathers for what they did for the spread and propagation of Islam we thank you for having turned up in large numbers we thank you for having been part of history when we celebrate their contributions if there is anything we've learned from these functions and from their work is that we should always work for posterity for posterity everything will benefit you in your time but will benefit many others 
will come after we've gone. I also wish to sympathize and send a message of condolences to all those who lost their lives, their, their beloved ones who were on duty in Somalia, those who lost their loved ones in Kasese, and in many parts of the country, in Mitiana, in Masaka, and in so many other places. We pray that Allah may give them, may Allah rest their souls in peace. All we ask from security agencies, please be more vigilant so that everybody can enjoy this country in peace. We have enough resources, there's enough for all of us, but we only ask that please provide enough security to all of us so that we can all live in peace and harmony. I also wish to state that in the last three or four months, the road, the road transport in Kampala, the roads were in a very sorry state. I wish to commend all those in Kampala State Council, in the Ministry of Works, for the work they have done in trying to patch up many of these holes. It's now a lot better, but we are not yet there. The only problem is that we have been using maram to repair these tarmac roads. We pray that in the next coming financial year, we see a receding of all these roads so that we can move peacefully in Kampala. Why we raise these issues is that those who have the luxury of driving Ram Shepherd vehicles, whenever you send it to town, you have to also send it to mechanic for repair. So that's why it is a big deal. Because once you go through these potholes, the damage to these vehicles is there for everybody to see. But we thank you for the interventions you've done, and we think you can do a lot better than what you've done, and we think we shall always be together. As we said, this is a day of sacrifice, it's a day of feasting, not fasting. We have to let you retire home, enjoy your, your, join your families and friends, and celebrate Idi Azoha in peace. We thank all of you for having turned up. May the Almighty Allah bless all of you and guide us. And we meet again by the grace of Allah. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وكل عام وأنتم بخير سبا سبريم أفتي أتوى الدوا نور بنيما تبينا تدايوك سينكنا أبا غرابس في مبالينيا أكوتيا بزينا تنبان نناني أتول السلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عيد مبارك الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطانا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين اللهم إننا نسألك حسن الخاتمة ونعوذ بك من سوء الخاتمة واغفر لنا والوالدين وارحمهم كما ربونا صغار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد النبي الامي وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته يا بسبا امبولا امبولا ngai mubuza kumbuka tujakola line yao
reconstructive message that is coming from uh, Prince Nachivinge. He's just walked into what related with what uh, others had indeed uh, spoken about. Um, the quest for justice for some of the people that have been arrested and also the, the follow-ups from the investigative arm of government. A giddy message and um, a message that he has shared with the people that have gone to check on him and uh, share uh, a lunch, um, ED lunch with him. Very important messages. We also had it from Kutuba, from Yechibuli Mosque, before we came down to um, the, the, the, the residence of uh, uh, Prince Nachibinge. Earlier in the day, we had, in the morning, we had also uh, heard from uh, this Muft uh, Mubadje who lo uh, lashed at people misusing the social media uh, to insult just because they have data on them. He said, advice that they should use the space for constructive activities which will develop and transform the community. For myself and the crew, the back, the back end crew, uh, headed by one of myself, uh, we thank you for being part of this uh, broadcast, ED broadcast, as we celebrate um, uh, ED Mubaraka for the Muslim brothers, those that have invited uh, the communities. Thank you so much. It's always important that you invite and share with people. Remember, the Eid of Sacrifice talks about three, three, three, what I would call uh, three tributes. Uh, that is one, sharing with your family, two, sharing with your neighbor, three, uh, sharing with those that are in dire need. If you have a healthy animal that you're going to slaughter, please do not hesitate to share it because they call unto Islam and why Abra, Abigail, why Prophet Ibrahim did the sacrifice, one was to show compassion, the duty of care for, the, for others, but also most importantly to the allegiance that he showed to his almighty. My name is Dalton Kawesa. We've had a different crew uh, out there, Shamim Nabakoza, we had Hakim Kanyere, we had Hakim Wampamba, we had Oliver uh, Nakalembe, we had um, uh, Ali Kasuja trying to bring us live the events that have been happening definitely and not forgetting uh, Haji Karim uh, who was or is in the eastern part of this country and they are going to be distributing uh, different to different communities meat that has been uh, donated through the Salam Charity Partnership. Dalton Kawesa is my name. Stay here and thank you very much for being part of this broadcast.